oh, oh boy. I met Colin, I guess it must have been 2015. I worked at a gym and we both played basketball at the gym, so we had some interaction there. Uh, but one day, specifically, he came into my office and just kind of sat down and started talking. And we talked until lunch, and then I think we got lunch together after that. And then he went home and texted me later, like a couple hours later, and was like, hey, you want to come over and watch a movie tonight? And, and that's, yeah, that's how I met Colin. Yeah, so I don't think I've seen Colin since his wedding in about 2017, I think it was. And uh, we kind of keep in touch a little bit, mostly through Twitter. Uh, but, you know, when he texted me a few weeks ago and asked if he could come, I thought, yeah, absolutely, come on. I'm always happy to have friends come visit. And I figured this was a good opportunity to kind of show someone in person what I try to get across in my videos. So the last time I was out of the United States was 2017 in Morocco. So my wife and I went there for our honeymoon. We went to Iceland first and for like a couple of days and then to Morocco for a week. So the extent of my knowledge of Albania is everything that James posts on the internet or on YouTube or whatever. Um, and also everything I saw driving from the airport in Tirana to here, which is like some countryside or whatever. My impression driving in was um, was a little, like two things. One, that mostly it just kind of looks like what you imagine Greece or you know, like you see like these sort of Adriatic countries. It's very beautiful, very green, that kind of thing, one. And then the second thing was I noticed about the people, especially when we're driving, is kind of like anything goes. So like sort of people can kind of, people just sort of zoom in between each other and whatever. It's kind of like a free for all in some ways, which is pretty funny. The number one thing that I'm looking forward to is probably food. I just want to try a bunch of food. Um, second thing is probably just like seeing scenery. So cool, you know, the whatever lake, there's a lake here in Pogradets that looks pretty cool or, you know, things like that. I just want to see cool scenery. Do I know any Albanian? Uh, okay, so I think I was taught that Po is yes and Yo is no, which makes no sense to me because Yo starts with a Y. Um, okay, so, or it starts with a J maybe? Is it J? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Po is yes, Yo is no, Falomon Derek is thank you. Falomon Derek? Falomon Derek is thank you. Um, I know that Barek is like a pastry. Um, I know uh, Lek. That's money. I think that's it. I think that's all I've got. Okay, now I have a challenge for you while you're here. Okay. I want you to be able to order some food in Albanian <laughs> by okay. the end of your trip. Okay, I'll order for the whole table. Yeah, for all two of us. Okay, great. All right. Perfect. I mean, he said he wanted to try Albanian food, so. Well, first of all, why is it in a water bottle? Well, it's all homemade. Well, it was like, okay, so this is like Albanian moonshine. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Made with cherries? Uh, I think that one might be grape. I'm not sure. It's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. I drink it in like coffee or something. In coffee? With coffee? Oh, uh, with coffee. Did I say in coffee? Uh, I don't know what you said. Here, try the other one. I like the bottle of this one better. This one smells worse. It tastes worse too. No, that's terrible. <laughs> oh my god. I just want to like chase it with that. Because Colin and I initially met playing basketball, when I heard that there was this three on three tournament happening, we. Uh, we grabbed another guy and decided to enter into the tournament. There's a three-on-three -three basketball tournament in town right now, today, like the only day that Colin and I are in town, so we're gonna go play in that. Pogredets, this is like abnormal Pogredets. Hey man. Nothing ever happens here. Like, hey, I come to town, they put on a show. What can I say? <laughs>
Oh man, I'm red. Look at that. Yeah. I, I did not put sunscreen right there. Oh well. So we just finished playing basketball. We did okay. Yeah. We did fine. We well. But oh. also very different rules in, <laughs> yeah, in yeah, yeah. Albania for the record. Yeah. We would have won if the rules had been what we were used to. <laughs> Maybe. But we're gonna Colin wanted to eat some uh Albanian fast food, so we're gonna go grab some of that. Alright. I mean, this is a french fry. Yeah, okay, eat your french fry and then take a big old bite. So is there a french fry? Okay. So. <laughs> that is wild. Wow. It just comes with french fries covered in mustard and ketchup in it. And how, how much meat is in there? Um, not that much. That's hilarious. Well, I just want some french fries out of it. Mm. Tastes a bit different than what you would expect. Yeah. Yeah. So we are leaving Bogodet soon, but I wanted Colin to try one more very typical thing here in Albania. He's got a, what do you have? It is a green apple bravo. All right. All right, here we go. It, it tastes like, yeah, it kind of tastes like a Jolly Rancher. It tastes like candy and a yeah. candy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> It's not bad. No, I. that was what I would get every time I came at first because it was the only thing I could say in Albanian. Yeah, it's like, it's not as sweet as I thought it would be, which is good, right. but it does, it tastes like kind of like if you mix a Jolly Rancher with a little bit of water. We had plans to, to start a road trip, but before we left, I got a phone call from a friend of mine and asked if Colin and I wanted to get tattoos. So on our way out, we decided to hit up this brand new tattoo studio in Korcha. Gonna show the people your tattoo. Oh. If you know what that is, comment down below and we'll give you a pat on the back. Yep. <laughs> we finished our tattoos and we're gonna go get lunch, but there's a little slight obstacle over here. <laughs> there's a river <laughs> in the street. Yeah. An actual river. An actual river. All right, James is going for. No socks or shoes, and just There's gonna. There's a hole here, and I'm just falling down. I'm gonna walk out this way. <laughs> All right, he's going. I guess I'm going for it too. The streets of Korcha are flooded. Are you coming? Yeah, I'm coming. So we went to Korcha Brewery. Colin got himself a beer. 70 cents. <laughs> 70 like. How do you say 70? So we have a bit of a direction for this one. Oh, 
All right, we finished our tattoos. We did everything we need to do in Korcha. We ate our chofta and Colin had his beer and now we're heading on to the next section of this road trip. Loved Korcha. Korcha was great. Colin loved the chofta. So we got to Canyon de Holtes right there and uh, the sun is quickly going down. So we're trying to suit up. I got to find my... Just really belabor the Lord of the Rings thing. But this kind of reminds me of when they go in to get the army of the dead. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like in oh, the yeah. mountain. They just Lord of the rings in it up. Hey I man, guess. what can you... Mello. Are you filming or taking a photo? <laughs> what up? Oh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this water is very warm. All right, I'm walking into the thermal bath. Oh yeah, that was great. How do I take a self? This is a very cool picture. Yeah. Okay. It's so cold. It's a little cold. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs> we doing it? <laughs> I mean, heck, heck yes. Can't see the bottom. Is it warm? Oh, sick. You like that one? Oh yeah. Oh, now time to get some food. I guess. See you there. restaurant <laughs> we were so tired we just like went to the first restaurant that we could find and it's like in the top of a hotel we are penthouse baby <laughs> we're hesitant we don't know how good the food's gonna be but i guess we're about to find out how is your food and your scenery today it was great the uh, the chofta, the chofta and korcha was amazing at uh, Biro Korcha. 
and the Slide Canyon. What's it called? Hostra? Holta. Holta. Holtas. Canyon Holtas. Canyon Holtas was unbelievable. Mm. So, as you can see, we're in our hotel in Grunch, and uh, tomorrow we'll head on to somewhere new. Gramsh was a quick stop. I, I really enjoy Canyon y Holtes. And uh, yeah, don't tell Colin, but that, that stop was more for my benefit than his. scenery and try some more food. Let's go find it. Are you taking a video of me right now? Mm -hmm. That's probably unflattering. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Push my <laughs> belly button for you. Yeah, walk up here? No thanks. Yeah, I'm good. Barat Castle. Kalaya Barati? I don't know what it is. Kalaya Baratit. Baratit. Colin's first Albanian castle. Yep. First of many. Well, That's not true. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we'll go to one in Skoda or not. So this place has gotten like they, it's a little more touristy than most places that we go. Gotcha. Because they're charging to get free to get in. Yeah. Unless you've walked in like around, you probably could do that and not be charged. Yeah. They probably charge to use the toilet. Supposedly there's a restaurant in here. We're gonna try to find it. Cool. There's one right up there, but that's not the one that I was looking for. If this is how warm it is in June. Yeah. Imagine July and August. Feels good, but it's very warm. All right, we found where we're gonna eat this tiny little place in the wall. It's like literal hole in the wall place. Literally. Yeah, but supposedly it's good, so we will figure that out. You didn't get your top cozy, huh? Didn't have the top cozy, but I got more chocolate. Next time. How is it? Hmm? How is it all? Mew, mew. <laughs> Alright, let's see this castle. Let's do it. Timing is perfect as always. What'd you say? It started raining on us while I was flying the drone. Uh, yeah. That's all right. Had to get out. Got to see the castle is pretty dope. So we had a little bit of time to kill in Barat after the castle and since it started raining. So we're gonna 
We're gonna find, oh, I'm gonna give Colin a couple of little things to try. Since he liked, he wanted to try food. Here we go. Wanna start with this? First up, we're gonna give him some lokume. The tradition behind this is when someone moves into a new house, I think this is it. Someone moves into a new house, you buy them some of this. Fair enough. That's like a housewarming gift. All right. This is all powdered sugar on top of it. Ready? And not at all what I thought this was gonna be. It was good. It's so saccharine, like really sweet. <laughs> Very sweet. Very chewy. But like, it's good. It it's, does taste good. It's really good. It's not. Like when you get it fresh, yes, we bought it from a market. But when you get it fresh, it's like it can still be warm and it's not quite as like tough to bite into. Like, yeah, it's just soft and melts. It's good. I liked it. I liked it more than I thought I was gonna like it. It's basically. I think it's Turkish delight. That's what people. That's what I've been told that that what's what that is. And when I was younger, everyone was like, "Oh, Turkish delight is so disgusting." Why would Edmund betray his family just for some Turkish delight? And I was like, if that's Turkish delight, I might betray my family for it. <laughs> Sorry, sibling. Sorry, Flash. <laughs> okay, now we have some oregano flavored. All the Albanians are like potato they, chips. Like, he's not trying anything special, but they don't have these in America. Right, these are just things that he hasn't tried before. I mean, they might have these all over the. It's about to rain. <laughs> they might have these all over the Balkans, but they don't have them here. All I don't right. have them in the U.S. Oregano chips. I'm going to give them a smell. Oh, yeah. I'm going to like these. You think you will? Yeah, I think I will. Yeah, those are really good. You like them? I do like them. Yeah. This is a brand. <laughs> Careful, we're recording. <laughs> well, you can tell me about that. So... Colin wanted to get his davkosi, davkosi, which is traditional Albanian yogurt egg dish. I think there's egg in it. Something we'll find out. So we have to go. Now we're headed to dinner. We have to go find a. Did you see that light? Yeah, man. <laughs> uh, now we're gonna have to go find a place to get the davkosi. We think we found one. Yeah, you have a menu in front of you. That's cheating. No, just go for it. Go for it. I'm just looking at the... Yeah, go oh, for okay. it. Okay. Uh, do you want tough cozy? Tough cozy. But yeah, no. Of course. Oh. He said, of course. <laughs> oh. Finally, the long-awaited top cozy. Top cozy, right here. Yeah. It looks good. It looks legitimately good. Is this the baked cheese thing you got? Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. All right. So we're gonna dig into this. There's some meat. I'm gonna go down. There's some okay, okay. pork in there. Or gotcha. lamb so it's like there. lamb. It's like like <laughs> lamb baked quiche type looking thing. Actually, it's good. It's so soft. Yeah. So I guess it's better than all. Yeah. The, the lamb is it, honestly it's like kind of like the yogurt stuff that's in a uh, yeah, barret barret a like cheese, cheese, yeah. cheese. Um, it's like that yogurt stuff but with like lamb and cheese in it yeah. I've had baklava I, I think I had it for breakfast the other day oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. kind of I think you did, I did. <laughs> living it up in here yeah. I mean it's vacation that is impossible to cut yeah I'd say no, it's good. Yeah, that's gonna be. Pretty damn good. It tastes like a, it tastes like a Krispy Kreme donut. <laughs> it's really good. Hey, right, Colin. We're going clubbing. <laughs> you were like hidden by my hand when I pulled it down. You're like, we're going clubbing. We're going clubbing. <laughs> How was your top cozy? It was great. Loved it. It's interesting because if you described. Like, a, like, hey, we're gonna have this dish with like sour yogurt. I would have been like, I'm gonna hate that, but I loved it. So, and how was your baklava? Baklava was incredible. Probably the best thing I've had on the trip, honestly. All right. Well, that was. I wonder how all the other people feel. Hmm. 
Oh, <laughs> well, I didn't expect you to be filming. Just, just cut here so it looks like I'm dressed up nicer. <laughs> that night, we went for a walk and then sat in the guest house chatting and yeah. But then, <laughs> then the next morning, <laughs> I'm putting some strawberry jam onto this piece of bread with this homemade butter, maybe? Is that homemade, you think? Really good. And I'm about to put this cheese on it. <clears throat> so good. <laughs> it's unreal. Also, this. Way better than American <laughs> Slummy. It's not even close. <laughs> I told you. That'll make you rethink your whole life. <laughs> <laughs> so this was our our little thrown together breakfast. Yeah. That was provided. We had some break, some bread. What was that coffee cake at the beginning? Mm -hmm. Jams, toast, some salami, and the yeah. <laughs> Colin um, really liked the break. He's been eating breath almost every morning. And he, and he, he tried the doll too. All right, so it's like a yogurt drink. Oh yeah, it smells like something I'm going to paint. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. But he said this is by far the best burek he's had. Burek me spinach? Spinach. Spinach. So yeah, that, that guest house was incredible. And if you're ever in Barat, you should definitely check it out. Sorry, what was the question? Oh yeah, um, <laughs> from there we headed north um, and you know had a quick stop in Duris to, to see a friend of mine. All right, so we're on our way to, where are we going, Shenzhen? Shenzhen. Not yeah. me though. No, not, we stopped in Duras to see Tony. Tony. Tony was in a video two years ago. Yeah. Two tech years through ago. Tony. Tech through Tony. Yeah, yeah, tech through Tony. We're just grabbing a coffee and then uh, James paid heading. for it. <laughs> and then heading out. He grabbed the bill just like an Albanian guy would do. <laughs> and he doesn't let either one of us pay. So when in Rome, right? When in Rome. <laughs> We're gonna walk along this new promenade over there behind me. And uh, yeah, just a quick pit stop. Nothing fancy from Lourdes. Not today. <laughs> yeah, so we had a quick coffee and a nice chat with Tony, and then we left and headed towards Shenzhen, where we were gonna meet up with some friends of mine. Two sisters that I've known for like 20 years and grew up with, and then two of their friends were with them as well. We, we made it to Shenzhen to, I don't know the Albanian name for this beach, Throne Sand Beach. That was great. Which part? The swimming. Oh yeah, the swimming. That's what In we the Adriatic said. Sea. No. Yeah. What do you know? Adriatic, an, an adjective that means <laughs> of Adria. Yeah, not the Adriatic Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I didn't call it the Adriatic Ocean. I just said, <laughs> oh, the ocean, and you said, no, the sea. But I never said, the Adriatic Ocean, like a loser. <laughs> so our plan was to camp out here, but the naps are What's the word? Really bad? <laughs> I said the word, not the two words. Oh, um, the gnats are 
tubular. <laughs> we, we're gonna find a place to sleep. Not camping, I don't think. The gnats have natitude. <laughs> <laughs> just, just stop the video now. We just film it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So it's me and James, and then um, two of my childhood friends. Two of his childhood friends, a girl named Brooke. It's not like I'm not gonna say it's bad, but it's not like amazing. I like the this, whatever this is. You wanted just a reaction? Yeah, that was good. <laughs> it just threw me off. That it's like a whole. One, two, three, go. Just you're. Well, we went into Schroeder because the girls wanted to check out a coffee shop and they also wanted to see a castle, so. It's been a rough, rough time doing this. <laughs> I don't know what the, what is this castle called? Ruza Ruzafa? Ruzafa, I think. Ruzafa? Yeah. The castle overlooking Schroeder. Yeah. Obviously. Colin's second castle. Yeah, I remember my first castle. to the Airbnb and the host was there like with some fresh homemade rose lemonade and like she'd prepared this amazing snack like a quiche type of thing I forget what it's called in Albanian yeah it just was super welcoming I think we found the best Airbnb in Albania oh, yeah. I was just treading and I didn't try very hard <laughs> Oh, this is unreal. This is it with that file on. And then we basically spent the whole afternoon sitting by the pool, hanging out, talking, catching up, telling stories, that sort of stuff. And then after what felt quicker than a day at this Airbnb, the girls had to leave to go continue their Balkan road trip and <laughs> we had to get Colin more food. <laughs> Me and Barack have a love affair. 
Watch out, Lydia. Watch out, Lyd. And of course, our penultimate stop on this trip, Kruya. So Colin has a mission here where he has to find a rug for his wife. Apparently. We'll see. This is the place to find it if we're gonna find one though. All right, Colin. This is where we're gonna be able to find a rug, hopefully. Yep. Somewhere along here. So there's one particular woman that weaves rugs and we're looking for her because Colin's wife saw a video of her doing it and liked the <clears throat> like the rugs that she saw yeah. in there, so now we're looking for that specific spot. So a little bit difficult to find. No idea where it is, but we'll figure it out. Colin had to get some direction from his wife, so we went back to the hotel and he called her real quick. And now we're heading back to the rug shop. Hopefully, find one that she likes. Oh, I don't need carpet. Thank you. <clears throat> Seeing you. Yeah. Do you like your rug? Oh yeah, love it. And uh, <laughs> the guy, the guy liked us enough. He gave us a couple of coffee mugs, gifts to go home with, pens. I think a magnet, maybe. Yeah, I think two magnet, two Albanian flag magnets, two Albanian flag pens, and two Albanian flag coffee mugs. <laughs> <clears throat> I guess when you buy a full-length rug from somebody. Well, that's a pretty good deal, though. <laughs> all things considered. <laughs> Yeah, so we got a rug, so now we're gonna just kind of wander around the castle a little bit. This is what, your third castle? Third castle. It's my, I think it's my fourth or fifth castle that I've like laid eyes on, but it's the third one I'll walk into. How about being... If you want to know more about like the castle here, I made a different video about the 5,000 like note, which kind of talks about what's inside the castle. No. Okay, so Some parts of the castle are Tirana? under construction. Yeah, Tirana. Airplane? <laughs> I don't think you see Schroeder, it's too far. Oh, I thought you were gonna like- But look, you can see the sea right there. <laughs> yeah, I like this stuff. And like this sunset tonight could be very cool. Castle of Korea, thoughts? Um, very cool. I, honestly, probably the best views here. Uh, like better, view, yeah, better views than some of the other castles. I really like it. Skoder had had. Skoder good had views. good views, but I guess like the uh, the mountains are better. You have a better view of the mountain. Like you can see, you're probably higher in the yeah. Skoder Castle than you are here. But well, this also, is Skoder Castle is like sitting. Yeah. On top of something, you have like a 360 view. Here, yeah. it's like a view one direction. Yeah, view one direction, but the valley is beautiful. The mountains are beautiful. Yeah. So this hotel is really, really cool. And this city that we're in, Kruya, is like probably my favorite place we've been so far. So um, the hotel that we're in has a pool on the roof. So yeah, so we're about to go. Um, we're about to put bathing suits on and go up there and I mean, grab a beer or something. And then we're just going to swim. And hang out. Having trouble keeping your feet down? Yeah, my feet went up low. Yeah.
Can you explain what, what this dish is, what's in this dish? Uh, so, uh, there is a traditional dessert about in Korea. Uh, here inside our rice, sugar, and it's on topic, it's very secret. Very, <laughs> very secret topic, Colin. Okay, great. You, you can prove first, and when you find the secret, it's more but, good and, for you. And there's some cinnamon in there too, right? Yes. Yeah. So the cinnamon is not the secret. Yeah. And uh, this dessert, it's uh, from Scumberbeck's uh, Wendy's. And uh, they make, they want to make uh, for far, uh, four or five hours. Wow. Inside, inside in fire. Uh, good appetite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good. It's like, it's almost like apple pie rice. Interesting. Yeah. Apple pie rice? Oh, I wasn't like, expecting it to be warm. It's like apple pie rice. It is. <laughs> it's apple pie rice. It's, it's it like apple pie rice. <laughs> That's really good. And the next morning, which is this, what's happening right here, we had to grab some breakfast and then Colin had to get a COVID test before his flight back to the U.S. <clears throat> Petula. Petula? Petula. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a bet amazing. <laughs> of course. Yeah, it's like... Like a funnel cake. Yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> fried dough. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Breakfast. Right. How do you feel? Um, their system is chaotic. So did you not get your test? No, I did. Okay. I got it. Yeah, yeah. Um, they scratched my brain with the uh, with the little Q-tip or whatever. Last morning for Colin in Albania, so we're gonna try to go find some pacha. The one, the main thing that I've had that he hasn't. Hopefully, well, brain soup. Hopefully we can. Uh, hopefully we can find some. Hopefully it's not too late. Excited for your pacha? I am. There's a chance I don't like it though. There's a good chance you won't like it. No. I don't know. It doesn't taste that much different than just regular soup. Alright. Like meat soup. Alright, Colin's trying pacha for the very first time. Soup. For breakfast. For breakfast. Alright, here we go. It's just like chicken noodle soup with beef in it. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Loved it. Really? Loved it. <laughs> it's did, good. Did you? It is good. But it's like not something you'd want to eat every single day. Yeah, I, I definitely wouldn't like go seeking it out every morning. But, but like if you're in a city and you're just like chilling for the day, go grab some for a brunch. Yeah, it's especially good. if it's cold outside. Yeah, that would help a lot. Yeah. Not this weather. It's not cold in Toronto right now. Definitely not. So yeah, I mean, after his pacha breakfast and then right before he had to get on his flight, I decided to revisit some of the questions that I'd asked Colin at the beginning of his trip. Do you know more about Albania now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know more about Albania now. Yeah, just know more. I know more about the history. I feel like when we're, you know, riding down the road, I can, I, like, I've started to be able to recognize, like, oh, that's a monument to whatever, or, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. What left the biggest impression on you? Uh, <clears throat> Besa, like people's, uh, every time we met one of your friends, whether it was Julian or Tony or Arian or Mario or, you know, any of these Albanian, like people that we spent a lot of time with on the trip, like every, if it was a, if we were out for coffee or whatever, and I went to uh, Nardi, like the, the, uh, mechanic that works underneath your apartment, <clears throat> if I reached in my pocket to get out money to pay for my espresso or something it was like I get like giving us free tattoos just because they're friends with somebody who you're friends with mario um so yeah definitely the like the besa was pretty incredible top three things i saw the view from our uh from our bed and breakfast in 
uh, the little village outside of Skoder, Shenzhen. What is that village called? Shrok. Shrok. Yeah. The like definitely the bed and breakfast out whatever that view of the lake and the mountains across the lake and whatever is like pretty incredible. Um, I would say uh, the Slot Canyon in Gramsh is like probably my favorite thing. And just getting to like go go and go and go further and further back in there and all the cool lighting and pictures I, we saw. I love that because nobody goes to Gramsh. Yeah. And it was it was it was pretty mind blowing. I kept telling you the entire time we were there that if this place existed in the United States, there would be a massive welcome center and like you know all this tourist like stuff and trinkets you can shirts you can buy and there would be like somebody you have to pay and like tickets and all that kind of stuff and it would be crawling with people. Right. And you and I were the only people in the entire slot canyon, which was pretty insane. Three, I'll go with sunsets in Korea. Just that sunset was epic. The sunset in Korea was pretty awesome. And just that view of being up on top, the castles right there, the, the sunset was pretty amazing. So the, yeah, those are probably my three. If I had to give a fourth uh, scenery, I would say Throne Beach is pretty cool. Like sitting on top of Throne yeah. Beach is pretty cool. Minus I, the I wish I knew the Albanian name for that. Throne Sand Beach, I think. Throne so. Sand Beach. Top three things I ate, I would say uh, the Chofta at Bir Korcha in Korcha. It was amazing. I would say the toast with the jam and diak at Basilica's uh, bed and breakfast <laughs> in Barat was like really, really, really good. <laughs> Link in the description below. And then I would also say uh, the barek that I got driving through uh, Leja that we like randomly just stopped. I was so hungry and you're like, just go right there. And one, the nicest lady I've ever met in my entire life. And two, the barek there was really, really good. That would be my, that would be my three. Do you know any Albanian? <clears throat> yeah, I was, I was telling Arian last night. I feel like I know like fifty-ish Albanian words. I mean, I know how to say thank you and how to say how are you doing, greetings. I can order strawberry ice cream. He wants to order for himself in Albanian. Uh, all right, here we go. Ready. Okay. Chikami. What's up? Oh, Chikami. Duan Agalore in this food. I tried. Try it again. Try it again. Agalore? Okay. No. Akulore. Akulore? Okay. Nice work. <laughs> <laughs> to that clip. Albania, you were beautiful. I appreciate it. Thank you for welcoming me. Thank you to James. Show me around. I'll be back.